All right, I spent the money so you did not have to. Let's talk skims. I spent $300, actually, I spent $316.64 to be exact. And I ended up getting four different outfits, complete, you know, top and bottom outfits, and six underwear, all right? So let's get into the review. How does the clothes feel? Is it worth the coins? How was the shipping? All of that, because you know I got you. All right, shipping. I ordered the clothes on November 26th, and I got it today. Today is the 6th of December, so it took, you know, a calm 10 days. That's not horrible, but I'm still on that Amazon Prime energy, so it really is hard for me to just accept anything that's more than two days. I'm not an unboxing type of person. Like, honestly, they could have sent me the whole package in a large shoe, all right? They could have sent this to me in a Goodwill sheet, and I would not have cared as long as it got to me all right, okay? So I'm not really big on unboxing. But if you must know, the box was complete shit. I don't know if it was skims or if my mailman was mad at me, but my box was definitely stepped on. And once you open the box, it's also equally as underwhelming. It's just a cardboard box, but who cares, all right? Everything was individually packaged. It says it, you know, it's not made out of plastic, which does warm my heart, but I don't think every panty deserved a bag, okay? I would have been okay if he was just like, huh? But that was cute nonetheless. So let's talk about the panties first. I'm not gonna put the panties on on camera because my wax lady and me do need to talk. But what I will say is I ordered, everything is pretty much in a large. The only thing that's in a medium is this top, um, which is obviously my favorite, which is why I'm wearing it. But everything else I ordered in a large. If you are in between sizes, you must size up. You must. I actually heard one of the seams popping as I was trying to start the video, okay? So size up if you are in between sizes because I'm between medium and large. Each of these panties were $12. I got three for $36. I got the Fits Everybody T-string thong, okay? Got it in gray, sienna. It's coming up a little bit lighter on camera. And then I also got clay. Clay, where my money at? And that's clay. Very, very soft. The material does feel really, really nice. This is the um, dipped front thong, okay? And this feels really nice and soft. This is also Sienna. I like that they have herb tones. Oh no, this is o ochre. Ochre? Oh my God, I cannot. All right, this one is Sienna. This one's a little bit more, you know, has a little bit more to work with. I mean, not as much. I'm a thong person though. We just cannot do regular panties around here. I don't like panty lines. I don't have the time. Mind you, this is a large. These look actually much smaller than the T-string. Because the T-string looks wild, but they all fit really good. This is Mika or Mika, depending on how you pronounce things. This is Mika. All right, so let's get into the set, starting with this one, because this is my absolute favorite. So this is the Velour, okay? The Velour. I got the crew neck and the bike shorts. The crew neck is in a medium and the bike shorts is in a large. This is the only thing I got in a medium. Everything else you will see here is a large. If you need my measurements, I'll wear a 36C. I am a 30 or 31 in the waist and a 42 in the hips, okay? Those are my measurements. I am also 5'6", too thick and I am 167 pounds. And if you see me doing anything unusual in the try-on part, just, just you know, let it be, all right? Like, I'm doing it for us. You wanna see how it fits from all angles, all right? So just don't make it weird. But I do love it. It feels super soft, okay? What the girls were saying was true. It feels really nice. It has a decent amount of stretch. Um, it's pretty stretchy, but the pants in this velour set is just not forgiving, okay? If your thighs are even just a centimeter bigger than mine, you are out of luck, okay? Size up again because it's, it's too tight, but I love the look of it. It feels very nice and luxurious. I'm normally used to walking around in baggy tees that I got for free at some event, so I feel very good. I feel like I'm about to just really put in some good work at work because I'm wearing something nice and comfy, all right? The next one is the stretch rib high neck bra with the Terry legging desert leggings. <laughs> this is supposed to be a bra. The girls was going crazy on the internet, at least according to the reviews, that I really think that they be deleting the bad reviews, but that's a whole different video. 
The girls said that they love this because it's a bra and it just feels so amazing and it saved lives and it raised their credit scores. And I just, I don't know. Also, it says it's a large and extra large. Yeah, it's definitely an extra large. It's an extra large lie, okay? I struggled to get into this and I never really wear size large in the top. I'm always a, a medium and in all these clothes, I it was just a perfect fit, okay? So if you are in the tops, I would definitely size up. And in the bottoms, I'm normally in between a medium and a large. So if you are in between sizes, definitely size up. This was cute for what it was. I would not wear this as a bra personally. It doesn't have enough support for me, but it was cute. The Terry leggings were super soft and comfortable. If you're living in cold weather, you are going to appreciate that. I like that it goes down to a pretty good length. Um, I don't know who invented the ankle jean, but we really, we need to talk. We need to fight actually. Um, that's the real pandemic, right? Because I can't find regular length jeans to save my life. But anyways, it was really cute. We like that. Moving on. The next one is the Outdoor Basics Legging and the Outdoor Basics Crew Neck in Malashite. Malashite? I don't know. All right, this color was phenomenal. I love this fit. It's super comfortable. Um, it's like my second favorite. Actually, I liked, the, I liked everything really except for that stretch rib high neck bra thing. Like that wasn't really my favorite because I had to fight to get in it. But this piece was really cute. You know, it's an indoor outdoor wear. This is probably the only thing I would wear outdoors. I would wear the Terry leggings too, but the other two, the, uh, the bike shorts, they look like boxers and I don't really want to go outside. Like that's not my style. But they're really cute for loungewear, okay? The leggings are really cute. They're long. They go all the way down too and leave a little extra crinkle at the bottom. So if you are a little bit taller, it should definitely be full length. And if you're not, it bunches up at a you know the perfect amount. Like it's not too much. Everything is very form fitting. It smooths you out. It is FUPA approved, I think. I don't know. Like from the front, you're gonna look fine. From the side, it's always questionable. Let's just you know. The outdoor basics two piece is very comfortable. Has a very nice amount of stretch. The leggings were a little bit of a challenge to get into. I will say, like I said, I don't know whose largest is. And what's crazy is their website is really shoppable. I loved shopping on that website but the girl that they had in the large and me we there's no way she was wearing a large right somebody lying and it and it's not me i had to really you know breathe meditate and manifest these things fitting for me because it was a little bit of a struggle now i also got another outdoor basics two-piece and i got the outdoor basics seamed bike short in sepia and the outdoor basics tank in sepia too this is like my second favorite one. I think I said that already, but whatever. I like these outdoor basics. It's probably my favorite. They are very cute, very comfortable, has a nice stretch, snatches you in. The colors are really nice. I love the colors. I love the names of these things. They're very unique and different. My overall thoughts is that it's a cute brand for what it is. I'm very happy I bought everything on the Black Friday sale. They will catch me again at their other, I think they have, a, they didn't call it a Black Friday sale, they called it a semi-annual sale. So they will catch me at the next semi-annual sale. I don't see myself paying full price because number one, I'm fiscally conservative. You'll know that if you watch my other channel that I'm gonna shamelessly plug up here. But yeah, I don't really spend a whole bunch of money on stuff like that. $300 was a lot of money for me. And I couldn't imagine paying, I guess, 500. I don't, I don't know, the discount was crazy. I can't imagine paying $500 for what I receive. That's like a lot of money just to be sitting around the house comfortably and cute. It is cute, but you will catch me on sale, Kim. Yes, on sale. And don't stop here because if you have a cute little at-home outfit, you're definitely going to want a cute little wig, a natural looking wig to go with it, okay? So check out this review I have on this wig right here and I will catch you in the next video.